Awesome. Um, I'm Cheyenne Gerlach. I'm a junior here at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and I'm an integrated science major. I'm Samantha Gunther. I am a senior here at the university studying agricultural leadership. In the summer, we were in Norfolk, Nebraska. Um, so something unique about our project is our 10 weeks was split between two different organizations and companies. And the first one of these was DACOS. And uh, our objective as an overarching theme was to capture the story of DACOS for good. So DACOS is one of three benefit corporations in the state of Nebraska, which means uh, they have a for-profit business plan with a for-good mission. And we were given the task of branding this for good side of DACOS and making it something that could inspire other businesses, specifically in the Norfolk community, to also adopt this for good um, mission and theme. And we did this by creating like five videos, they came yeah. down to five videos about who they were, why they did what they did, and who they were as a company. Uh, we did many visuals. We created a wall of aim for the Dayco's company in their all-purpose company room. And uh, we also helped brand the award that they got midway through our internship. They, out of all of the benefit corporations in the United States, they were in the top 10% for the best places to work. So that would be cool um, with any for-profit company, but as a benefit corporation, this was an special incredible honor and we had the chance to celebrate with them and to brand a video with them. What else did I miss? Um, for our pictures, just to explain those a little mm -hmm. bit, um, they, for, as part of their For Good effort, they, um, this month they, do a pro they did a project with bikes where we, where we created bikes and then we were going to donate them. So that's what that picture is all about. And then the second picture is we planned their celebration for them winning Best for Workers. So Cheyenne and I went and got balloons and we flooded the entryway with balloons so that when they came to work that day their like face lit up as they were entering their workspace and then we had a little ceremony and everything like that so. Dacos was especially a wonderful place for both Sam and I to work because we're both such uh, like self-starters and self-motivators they really just gave us the reins with every project that we did that particular day with the balloons Brandon the CEO came to us and said so I forgot that tomorrow we're getting this big award. What can you do with $50 in two hours? And then we came back with 75 <laughs> balloons and posters and a video um, that morning. So Yep. And then we also created um, their press release, their news articles, and stuff like that in order to get it on social media and out in the public. So. And something that we both forgot is we wrapped up this entire project with an all-company meeting that we facilitated. <laughs> and uh, the purpose of the meeting was to answer the question, what is DACOS? Because as a benefit corporation, we haven't figured out quite how to say, like, we are this for-profit business that does auditing and transportation, but really the reason we're here is for the community and our employees. So we helped them create one sentence that wrapped up their entire company, which was really, really fun and rewarding. Yes. It went really well for mm -hmm. them, and they found deeper purpose in it, too. So mm -hmm. it went really well. Um, for the second five weeks of our internship, we spent it with the Visitors Bureau, the Chamber of Commerce, and Economic Development. So we had three groups that we worked with cohesively in order and to work on this project of creating a marketing strategy that unites, educates, promotes, retail and service opportunities. So essentially there was an issue within the retail and service sector, not necessarily an issue, but like room for growth, where the downtown area was thriving and the mall area was doing all right, but we needed to get them to work together. So it was our project to do business surveys. We would go into stores as secret shoppers and ask them questions, get a feel for how they um, treated their customers, the feel of Norfolk essentially as a guest. And then we combined those results and we ended up having a focus group discussion with business owners across Norfolk to, to, to tell them what they're lacking in and what they're doing well in and what could be improved. And this went really well. Um, we had, a, I'm not sure how many businesses there for sure, but um, there was definitely a lot of grasp on the information and ide ideation of like ways that they could improve it if the future, so that was really good. And then we concluded our time there by creating a portfolio with I don't even know how many ideas. We had multiple marketing strategies, including a photo spot, getting them like a, mur a mural spot within different locations across town so that people are drawn to the area and then they'll stick around and go shopping. 
Um, what else did we have? Um, we helped them revamp their um, different websites with the different entities that we were serving. Um, we did. We had oh. ideas for their Instagram page mm -hmm. so that they could feature different businesses across town so that each business feels included and wanted within the entire town of Norfolk and then they'll feel more promoted. We also um, laid the foundation for them to hold a community-wide customer service training with the Northeast Community College. So what we found in the focus group discussion was that the companies and like the management were all like very up to date on the customer service expectations and standards of the community, but they were having problems relaying this to their employees. So our solution to that was creating a customer service training program that business owners could send all of their employees to for free and it would almost be like a certification process so that way they could hold it and they would incentivize businesses to have their certificate up by their cash register um, if they sent their employees to this customer service training. And our hypothesis with this entire project was that if a company or a business was able to say, we don't have this brand of shoes, but we know Browns down the street does, that would only not only promote the community, but it would also bring that guest back into their own store. So it's a win-win. So that's where we came up with this cross-promoting businesses and upselling Norfolk strategy. And we definitely found a lot of really good feedback mm -hmm. with this process. Also on the, along those lines, we thought of different ways that they could help motivate their employees to cross-promote cross and upsell. So essentially when one of their employees did cross-promote another business saying, hey, we don't have this product, but let me call this other business and see if they have it, um, they would be recognized, that employee would be recognized and promoted. So that is essentially our ideas, and we created this big portfolio about them and handed it to the, or presented them all to our three business, or three organizations that we worked with here. <laughs> So legacies and impact. Uh, so the thing that we came up with that we really, really wanted to leave the community of Norfolk with was to help the city of Norfolk realize the potential they have to attract young people into their community. Something that we both realized was like, even though I can't imagine myself going back into my hometown of DeWitt, like something about Norfolk seemed really attractive to me. And when we were telling that to these like 20, 30 year olds, 40 year olds in Norfolk, they were like, our community? What? And that's like exactly how I feel about my own community. So we were kind of able to address that. Why is some small town okay, but our own somehow less attractive, even though they have the same qualities? Um, so we were able to bring some light and potential arguments to bring young people back into their own community. Um, the second one was to make the first step in connecting all of the retail entities across town. So with the Visitors Bureau, the economic, uh, development and the Chamber of Commerce, we weren't able to put a lot of like bricks down, but we were able to lay the foundation and create strategies and make the connections for them so that way when we leave they're able to start making the first steps. And then we also systemized the conception uh, for good work for DECOS so that they can inspire more businesses to do the same. Uh, working with DECOS was something that was like a complete mindset shift for me because they were asking their questions of their company and their employees the same questions that I ask myself with my company. Um, like this for good is a really like untrodden path and when you get into it, it's hard to see what you're doing. But I think Sam and I lended them the perspective that it took that they will be able to inspire other companies to do the same with the tools that we created for them. So right. those are our legacies. Next we have how we grew as leaders. So first and foremost, we applied what we have learned in school and how we can apply it in the future. For both of this, we were talking like the entire summer about how this project and this internship has lined up perfectly with what we want to do, what we want to like, it just fit us perfectly for what we've learned in school, what we want to do in our futures. And so it's just a per perfect application of our education to our futures. Um, additionally, we recognized our strengths and how we can apply them to our futures. Multiple times during the experience, we were um, applying ourselves in new situations that we've never done before. Um, and it was incredible to see us, like after we had finished, we're like, wow, I actually really liked that. And like, that was something I was, I feel like I was good at. So we learned some new strengths about ourselves. Um, adding value to our work through deeper thinking. Um, one unique thing about DACOS is that they have an experimenting room and this adds deeper thinking, for me anyway, because it adds that value of experimentation and failing and 
learning why you failed, what you can do to improve, and like just thinking deeper about everything. So that was one thing that I, th I thought I applied there. Um, for both of us, going back to the second one, kind of, um, learning and practicing new skills. Um, we held 30 interviews, um, and I recorded them on video, and she did asking the questions, and this worked out so well. I've never used a video, like, <laughs> video camera in my life, and it turned out so well for us. That we both learned new skills in that, and other new skills throughout the summer. It was fun, like at first I was the one videotaping and Sam was the one interviewing. And like during interviews, we'd like literally physically be moving spots because we could tell I was the interviewer and she yeah. was like, yeah, that camera's not right. So <laughs> like, like kind of going through like the painful growth process of right. like, I don't know. It Figuring was... out those strengths. Um, after like our second or third interview too, um, we got interviewed, we got interviewed, we were on the other side of the camera, by News Channel Nebraska, and the guy who helped us with that, his name is Alex, he ended up giving me some tips about how to do the camera and how to do angles and stuff like that, so then it just, like, added so much value to my work and trying to get this video to work, so <laughs> that was also a plus, yeah. so. <laughs> um, so more things of how we grow as leaders. Practicing facilitation skills by holding meetings. So like we mentioned, we hold, held that focus group discussion with the uh, business owners in Norfolk, which was so super fun. And we learned like how to facilitate adults, which like I facilitated high school students for the past three years of my life, but I've never like transferred those skills into high school or into adults. So that was interesting. Um, utilizing strong communication skills to be thorough and purposeful, but also concise. So emails, interview questions, giving feedback to the community. Uh, we also, every Monday, Sam and I would sit down and set goals for the week. And if we didn't reach those goals, we wouldn't get to go to Renza on Saturday. <laughs> so, like, well, there was never a week where we didn't meet our goals. Right. And every Monday, the goals were intimidating to us because they were right. large and scary. And Tammy Day, our lead mentor at Dayco, still talks about how she was scared almost because on Tuesday we put our goals on a <laughs> sticky note, a giant sticky note in our office. She said, I didn't even give you your to-do list yet. <laughs> so uh, that was a really strong thing that Sam and I learned how to process through as a team. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is networking to have a strong collection of leaders in our lives. Um, I don't think I could ever drive through the city of Norfolk without stopping by. So having that network of people is uh, such a benefit for both of us moving forward. I would agree with that. And during our internship towards the end, both companies ended up holding a um, end celebration with us. So at the end of our, during our last week, we had celebrations with both of them. And many of them are like, so when are you, com when are you coming back? You know, like <laughs> I can find a job for you and stuff like that. So um, we definitely have some connections with them. So yes, and that's what we got. Thank you. <laughs> That was outstanding. I'm so excited for you to have had that experience. Okay, questions. So if you did get a job, if you did get a job offer, would you move to Norfolk? That, it's something I would definitely consider because I'm graduating in December, so it's coming up and I'm looking for that job position. As long as I have some standards that I want to set with the work I want to be doing, who I'm working with, stuff like that, as well as finding a location that's close to family and friends because that's what's really important in your off time from work. So I would have to consider it, but um, it's definitely an option, yeah. Um, I still have a lot of school ahead of me, um, and I don't ever see myself really working for a company. I would like to start my own company, but I could see myself starting a company in Norfolk um, and working from Norfolk or from the Norfolk area. I think it's a great place to live. 